I've been getting annoyed with the stupid, there is a system update you want to install now or do you want to install later. So I figured it's time. It is freaking time. It fails when it tries to install. I even went in flash stock recovery using mobile Odin. And this thing does not have custom recovery. The only thing it has is root. And I backed up root with Voodoo OT root keeper. Something in there is keeping it from updating. So what we're going to be doing is flashing stock. Now, there is a way to flash the LJC to MA7 update manually, but that's going to fail. So I'm simply going to plug in my phone to my computer. And then on the computer, uh, there's this tool called L900 LJC Stock Restore, and I'm going to just extract it to my desktop and run it, and it's going to put me back to this uh, LJC, I believe, LJC, uh, settings, about phone, uh, LJC, okay, and you could, uh, before you do this, I do recommend going to Titania Backup, pressing the Batch Restore, or Backup, and then back up all user app system data and then press run. And if you want to take a step further, you can even sync all that to Dropbox. But I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just simply going to be wiping it. I did do a backup a few days ago, so it should be fine. Once this is done extracting, I will be able to flash this back to stock. There's an app called Exynos Abuse that works on LJC, but nothing higher. The update actually fixes it where... It basically roots your phone using an app. So if you go, if you find a Note 2 that's at a Sprint store or any other store out there and it's running an older build that doesn't have the exploit fixed, you can just simply open the phone's browser without being signed into a Play Store account and download an app called, or Google an app called Exos Abuse, go to the XDA thread, one of the first things that pops up, uh, click the little APK, and then press um, allow for unknown sources, install it, open it. And then press root this device. If your device isn't supported, you'll get a nice little message letting you know that it's not supported. So it's well, that's actually what we're going to be doing. We're going to flash stock. We're going to run the Exynos abuse, root it. We're going to sign into our Play Store account. We're going to download Vood Voodoo OTA Root Keeper. It looks just like that. It's available for free in the Play Store. And then there'll be a little button that says backup root where it says delete issue backup. There'll just be one button there. We're going to back up root, and then we're going to install the update. The update will install, but it will kill root, and then we will go, um, once we have the update, we'll go into Voodoo OT Root Keeper, and we'll press restore root. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, I wasn't going to install this. I was just, you know, I had no problems with LJC, really, but it's been nagging me crap out of me that there is an update available, so let's go ahead and do it. Well, that's cool. On the computer, that tool just has one little thing, L900, you just press start. And it says, checking MD5, do not unplug cable, please wait, um, all threads completed. Alright, I'm going to go try this on a Windows 7 PC, the laptop I'm using currently is Windows 8. Alright, I believe I was making a little bit of a boo-boo. I did not have my phone in download mode when I clicked, you know, run or start in uh, the L900 LJC stock restore. So, let's try that again. And we're back. I couldn't get the one click thing to work. So what I did was I had the tar MD5 and I used MCGIP's toolkit. Well, actually, I just used Odin 307 or 3.07 and then I did it. But it freaking like it keeps all your stuff unless you do a factory reset and then you do it or you do a factory reset later. So uh, it got rid of the uh, thing because I used Odin and it, that will happen anytime you're flashing around with Odin. It completely erases everything. So there's no... Uh, OTA backup and super issues not working. Now, when we go here to the about device, we have LJ1. So, we're going to need to power this thing down. And then we're going to need to manually boot it in a stock recovery. That is the volume up, power, and home button. So, home button, volume up, and the power button. And you just keep holding it until you see stock recovery. And then you let go. Alright, so, 
apply update from external storage, which is our external SD card. You have to use one. You press the power button and then find the one that says LJC. There we go, LJ1 to LJC. And we'll just install that. That's not the latest one. That's the one we had before flashing the stock thing. We had to flash the stock thing because apparently either something got removed in the system or, oh, okay, I used SuperSU and in the options, if I think it's just on the pro version, you can make SuperSU part of the system or like there's an option in there somewhere. I'll put a screenshot up. But anyways, I did that. So that's probably what, what's keeping it from being able to install that other update before so now we're doing the lj1 ljc and then um whenever we get prompted to update we should be able to update if not then we can go in there uh, if it doesn't prompt us we can go in there and we can do it just like we're doing right now all by having the file on your external sd card so if the phone isn't notified that there's an update available we can just force it to install using the update.zip that our wilco 12 was kind enough to provide All right, looks like everything went through. The install is complete. It is now going to be rebooting to system. So just like before, instead of the LJ1 to LJC, if you have LJC, then you want to do what I just did. But if you have LJ1, then you'll need to install LJC. I think it's LJ1. Anyways, you already have the LJC, then you can just skip to the MA7. Yeah, MA7, and then install that instead of the LJC. But if you have LJ1, then you're going to need to install LJC to then install MA7. But we'll see if our phone notifies us that an update is available. But first of all, since basically this update is, you know, I think most of the reason this update is even there is because it's fixing an exploit where you can root your phone just using an app. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how easy it is to root a Note 2 that is on LJC. This also works on the Sprint Note or the Sprint Galaxy S3 before the MA5, I believe, before that update. Okay, here we are. We are in Android, and if we go to settings about phone, uh, more information, and then disable. Oh, you piece of grrr. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so about device, LJC. So I'm going to open up the web browser. I'm going to type in Exynos Abuse. And then it's like one of the very first links. And then, but yeah, the update that they released, the MA7, basically fixes this so you can no longer use this exploit. Now it's going to download and it's going to be very quick. We'll just press on it and then install, open, and check that out, root device. And it just takes it like maybe five seconds and you then have root and you don't have to hook your phone to a computer. <laughs> check that out. That's sick. That's awesome. So now the phone's rooted, we can go to the Play Store wherever... That is that. Go to my apps. And then Super SU will have an update. There we go. Now it's installing the update. And we're going to open it. Continue. Success. Sweet. Now that app right here. Exynos Abuse or Voodoo OT Root Keeper. Granted root permission. Press protect root. There we go. We now have protected root. Theoretically, Super SU can do the same exact thing if you have the Pro version. Which we do. But I don't, I've never used it, so I'm just going to keep using Voodoo OT Rootkeeper. And plus, you have to pay for the premium version to do it. And Voodoo OT Rootkeeper is free. So, I'm going to see if I'll get notified of this update. And... Alright. Check that out. Battery is too low to install update. So we've got to go in there and do this manually anyway. Power down, power off, and then reboot. So of course it's the volume up, the home button, and the power button until you get into recovery. And there we go. Again, it's uh, external storage. 
and right there it says LJC to MA7, press power, and it should install just freaking fine. It would not get this far before. It would, like, about maybe where it says installing before it says verifying i believe it would just like have the little red exclamation icon like you know like something bad happened it didn't go through and then freaking reboot back to system and then it would uh you know a day later notify you of an update and then you click install later and it would just keep saying install like you click keep clicking later and it, just, it got my freaking nerves i couldn't handle it anymore so that's the cool thing. Uh, I'm going to link to my video on how to install LJC uh, or yeah, LJC stock. And in that video, it's going to have a link to the TAR MD5. That TAR MD5 is LJ1. So you'll need to update to LJC. Then you'll need to update from MA or LJC to MA7. So I'll have a link to that and I'll put it in the, in the description of the video. So when you install that with Odin, you don't lose your apps. So whenever this is done, this is sick. I'll have all my games, I'll have Plume, I'll have everything without needing to uh, restore stuff that I backed up with Titanium Backup. This is this is pretty sick. It looks like the update is almost done. It's nearing completion. All right, sweet. So we made a lot more progress than we did last time. And hopefully when it boots up, we will have, uh, you know, MA7. We're almost done. At this point, it's going to be on MA7, or it should be at least. And we're not going to have root since we just updated and the update killed root. But that's exactly why we used Voodoo OT Root Keeper and we pressed backup root. So when this is done, and it's optimizing all the freaking apps, then you will be able to restore root with just a freaking click. A freaking click. And we didn't lose any data, even though we used Odin and we flashed the original LJ1 tar back to the phone. Come on. See, all of our apps are still there. I can open up Plume and I can go see who all does the thing, following me, and etc. Uh, go to settings. Finalizing. Oh, this is so stupid. I hate doing this every time. Blah, 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 blah. So if your battery's not full and it's not letting you update, then if you have the official zip that R Wilco 12 posted, then everything will be all right. All right. About device. MA7. MA7. That is freaking sweet. So we will not have root at all. Um, Exynos Abuse, oh, that's, that's my battery thing. Exynos Abuse is right here, and it's going to say, oh, well, with MA7, we can still press that to root the device. That's weird. I thought that's something they would have fixed with that. But with Voodoo OT Root Keeper, we can press Restore Root, and it's going to take it a second Root permission granted. Open it. There we go. So let's open up Titanium Backup. Grant root permission. And come on. It's probably going to say something like, I don't know. We'll find out here in a second. Come on, come on, come on. I allowed you root permission. What is your problem? Uh, Exynos Abuse, where are you at? Maybe I need to open up the SuperSU app. Okay, the binary needs updated. Installation failed. Huh? Alright. What the heck? Installation success. I don't know what that problem was. Triangle always been granted root. But yeah. So I used Voodoo OT Root Keeper. Exynos Abuse even had or said that there was detecting state granted root. Yeah, see? That's freaking wow. Um Okay. And then with this one you can just disable the exploit. And then you can disable exploit on boot. 
I don't know if something had to do with it that I didn't do a factory reset uh, and kept it the way it was. But yeah, that's how you update to MA7 and you ba back a root, root before you do so. And then you can restore root and you can also use the XNS abuse. Um, well, at least for me, I could still use it after the MA7 update. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button down the bottom left. It'll notify you when I post new videos of the Galaxy Note 2 and future devices. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.